Hello traders and welcome back to another live trading video here. I am short on Euro New Zealand and in this video I'm going to be trying to make some money on this pair. We'll see if that plays out the way I'm hoping for it or not, but I'm going to break down a real trade that I'm taking with real money. Uh, you can see the little live account thing here at the bottom of the screen. So I am logged into my broker and I'm short on Euro New Zealand. I'm risking uh, just about 30 pips here to the downside and wanted to break down the trade for you. Now, before I get into the video, you may notice I'm slightly darker than I was before. That's because I went to the beach and I tanned, right? You can totally tell, right? <laughs> you might not be able to. It's also because this ring light is like really white, I guess, but I don't know. It's it's a little bit of a stretch to say I'm tanner, but I hope to be a little bit more tan than I was. Uh, but anyways, if you would like to see a little bit of a clip uh, of me here at the beach having fun, here it is. I'll roll it real quick and then we'll get into the video. So there's your proof. I am Tanner, right? <laughs> Anyways, with this video, I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my trade here on Euro NZD. So let's go ahead and jump into the technical analysis as to why I went short on this pair. The first thing I want you to notice is that I drew this level here in pink uh, at a major level of what was support and is now expected in my technical analysis here to be viewed as resistance. You can see price has already respected it once here, and I'm looking to see if price can hold this general area on the short side now that we are retesting it after this recent rally that we've seen. So the overall idea here is that price is retesting a level of resistance. Number two, we have a strong downward trend. And number three, we actually have a FIB retracement tool that I've applied to price that sort of gives me a little bit of a level here. So let me show you this. So I drew from the top to the bottom of this move. And then you can see it gave me these three levels, the 38.2% retracement, the 50% retracement, and the 61.8 as these levels here on the chart indicate. So as price came back to the 50% level, this is really where I was looking to get involved. So that means that half of the move from this trend has been reversed or retested. And now lining that up with the level of resistance that we have on the chart, that all looks pretty good to me. And I was willing to take a short setup from a technical analysis perspective. Then on top of that, now where is my stop loss? My stop loss is just above the 61.8. This is also a key level. So what I would like to see is price not go much further than that. I would like it to roll over before then. If it does, then great. I will go ahead and hold on to my trade to try and make some money here. And if it doesn't, if it pops out, then I will take a small controlled loss here on my account. I'm not risking my whole account. I'm keeping things very, very tight, keeping things low in terms of risk. So that's what I'm looking at on Euro New Zealand. Now, I will also mention the fundamental analysis side of this. Uh, so here is the trade alert that I sent out to members inside of our Discord. If you're not already in our Discord, there is information to sign up on our website. But inside of the group, you can join our chat rooms. You can see the live coaching webinars that we do for our members, explaining things and answering questions. And also you can see the trades that I'm taking. So here is the trade alert that I sent out to members here this morning. So I said, I'm picking up Euro New Zealand on the short side, risking 29 pips should price go against me. I already shared a little bit of the technical analysis uh, idea there, basically the fib retracement, the trend, and a retest of resistance. And then in terms of fundamental reasoning, I said, I like NZD longs due to rumors uh, around a possible rate hike in August and a general move towards monetary policy tightening. And then also in addition, I like the euro on the short side due to the lagging monetary policy in the euro region. So there's sort of your fundamental and technical analysis perspective on the Euro NZD. I shared where I was going short, my stop loss, etc. You may see the uh, take profit there is also optional. The reason I say that is because I like to trail stops. So if price does decide to go in my favor here, I will look to move this stop loss behind price to try and lock in a gain if the market permits. If it doesn't, then I'll look to get out of the trade with as minimal damage as possible. So with that said, I'll pause the video and come back once things get going here. All right, guys, and I am all out of Euro NZD there for a loss there of just around 160, almost $170. Not the end of the world, but I am going to do a little bit of a reflection. I'm still going to post this to YouTube because my sort of rule with myself is that if I'm going to film these videos, I post them on YouTube for hopefully myself and for others to learn from. Uh, so 
I did take a short position here. If you remember, I was basically looking for the continuation there from the uh, the 30 minute chart and the one hour chart, I was looking for a sell off at the 50% retracement of this trend. Now you can notice I, I went from top there to bottom and then price retested my area and actually kept going a little bit here just long enough to tag me out of my stop loss. Now tomorrow, this thing might be all the way back down or it may be massively to the upside. But uh, it's very easy for me to sit here and be like, well, my stop loss was too tight and next time I'm gonna loosen my stop loss and you know all this and that, right? And I can play that game and sit here and beat myself up for taking a loss. And uh, you know, I think that it does really us no good. There is a difference between sort of getting frustrated and you know getting really upset about a trade that went wrong. Uh, and there is also you know sort of a, a positive constructive criticism. So I am opening it up to the chat down below or the comment section down below. Feel free to share your thoughts about this trade. If I am being honest with myself, uh, I think that I may have had my stop loss just a bit tight here, truthfully. However, I honestly think that the entry was just not the, you know, it didn't work out, right? And that happens sometimes. Sometimes you have a level that looks really good. I don't regret taking this trade. I think it met, uh, met up with all of my criteria for an entry. We had a key spot of what was support turned resistance, and I was looking for that to hold. You can see it was a tight stop, and I knew that going into it. I knew that if price went against me, then I had no business staying in the trade. So I could play the game here and say, hey, you know, I wish I put my stop loss there or I should have put my stop loss there and next time I'll do that. But the the point here is that truthfully, I think my logic with the trade was good and I just think that I was a little bit early to the trade. However, uh, one more thing to add here. There is no shame in saying, okay, maybe my entry just wasn't that good, but I could look for another opportunity to maybe get involved again. And that actually brings me to another point that I wanna make here as the video closes up. I did end up taking another NZD trade that is already nicely in profit. Uh, so although this one did not work out, there is always more trades to be taken. And so I am very fine with how this played out. Yes, I took a small loss, but there is a lesson in taking small losses each time. Uh, I like to think of trading as you are either taking wins or you are taking lessons, right? <clears throat> Another way of saying it is you either win or you learn. And in this case, yes, maybe my stop was a bit too tight, but truthfully, I wouldn't have done anything too different here. And if this sort of same setup occurred again, I would probably do it the exact same way. Because truthfully, yes, it didn't work out this time, but there have been plenty of times in my trading career where I'll take a trade just like this and you'll see sellers just come running in. And I'm very glad in that case that I kept my stop relatively tight because then when things work out, suddenly I've got a massive risk to reward very quickly. So there's always the shoulda, coulda, woulda when it comes to trading. And that's sort of what I try and do in these losing videos is just address that concept with you guys and just you know show you the, the reality of trading. You're not gonna take winners all the time and you really don't even have to. You can be wrong you know, 60, 70% of the time and still make money so long as your risk to reward is good. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, help me out. Hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel. And uh, like I mentioned, if you would like to join the A1 Trading community, there's a link down below in the description to sign up for that. You can see all the trades that I'm taking in full detail, whether they are wins, losses, etc. Like this video, like I said, I share everything openly inside of the Discord. So check it out down below in the description, and we'll see you back in the next one.